What the differences between EDR, MDR, and XDR are. Today, we'll unravel the mystery. Welcome to the world of cybersecurity, where acronyms like EDR, MDR, and XDR are part of the everyday jargon. But what do they mean and how they differ from each other? Let's start by introducing these terms. EDR stands for Endpoint Detection and Response. It's a cybersecurity solution that focuses on monitoring endpoint activities, detecting suspicious behavior, and responding to potential threats. Imagine a security guard constantly watching over your computer network, ready to act at the first sign of trouble. That's EDR for you. Next, we have MDR, which stands for Managed Detection and Response. Now this is like having a team of security guards, but they're not just observing. They're actively hunting for threats, analyzing them, and responding accordingly. Moreover, they're not just confined to your network, they're looking at all potential areas of vulnerability, from your servers to your cloud infrastructure. It's EDR taken to the next level. Finally, we have XDR, or Extended Detection and Response. This is the cybersecurity equivalent of a high-tech, fully equipped security command center. XDR integrates multiple security technologies, including EDR and MDR, to provide a holistic view of your organization's security posture. It's about detecting and responding to threats, yes, but it's also about predicting and preventing them. Each of these solutions has its strengths. EDR provides robust endpoint security, MDR offers comprehensive threat management, and XDR delivers an integrated, proactive approach to cybersecurity. However, they also have their limitations. EDR's focus is limited to endpoints, MDR requires significant resources for threat hunting, and XDR can be complex to implement due to its broad scope. Now that we know what EDR, MDR, and XDR are, let's delve deeper into each of these cybersecurity solutions. Let's set our sights on EDR first. EDR, or Endpoint Detection and Response, is a cybersecurity technology that monitors endpoints, like desktops and mobile devices, for threats and potential vulnerabilities. It's like having a security guard that never sleeps, constantly patrolling the digital landscape of your network. One of the main features of EDR is its threat detection. It's not just about finding threats, it's about finding them fast. Time is of the essence in cybersecurity and EDR tools are designed to identify threats the moment they appear. They do this by continuously monitoring endpoint activities, looking for any signs of malicious behavior. But EDR doesn't stop at detection. It's also equipped with response capabilities. Once a threat is detected, EDR tools can take immediate action to mitigate the risk. This could involve isolating the affected endpoint to prevent the spread of the infection or even automatically removing the threat. These response capabilities are like a digital firefighter, ready to extinguish any sparks before they can become a full-blown fire. In addition to these features, EDR also provides system visibility. This is essentially a detailed overview of your network giving you insights into everything that's happening on your endpoints. It's like having a bird's eye view of your digital landscape, allowing you to spot any anomalies or potential vulnerabilities that could be exploited. Now let's talk about the benefits. The most apparent one is immediate threat detection and elimination. It means that threats can be identified and dealt with as soon as they appear, minimizing the risk of a security breach. But as with everything, there are drawbacks. The main one is the level of expertise required to use EDR effectively. These tools are complex and sophisticated, requiring a deep understanding of cybersecurity to fully leverage their capabilities. It's like owning a high-performance sports car, it's great to have, but you need to know how to drive it. So, EDR offers immediate threat detection and elimination, but it does require a high level of expertise to use effectively. Having explored EDR, now we turn our attention to MDR-MDR, or Managed Detection and Response, is a proactive cybersecurity service that focuses on detecting and responding to threats within an organization's network. It's like having your very own team of security experts working around the clock to keep your network safe and secure. One of the key features of MDR is 24-7 monitoring. This means that your network is under constant watch, with security professionals vigilantly looking out for any signs of intrusion or suspicious activity. It's like having a security guard who never sleeps, always ready to respond to potential threats. In addition to monitoring, MDR also involves proactive threat hunting. This is where the security team actively searches for hidden threats within your network, using advanced tools and techniques. It's not just about waiting for alarms to go off, it's about actively seeking out the bad guys before they can cause any damage. Now when a threat is detected, that's where the response part of MDR comes in. 
the security team will swiftly take action to contain the threat, mitigate any damage, and prevent further intrusion. This could involve anything from blocking malicious IP addresses to patching vulnerabilities in your system. The benefits of MDR are clear, continuous protection, expert guidance, and proactive threat hunting. It's like having a personal bodyguard for your network, always on duty and ready to respond at a moment's notice. However, like anything, there are drawbacks. One of the main disadvantages of MDR is that it involves a certain level of dependency on a third-party provider. You're entrusting your network's security to an external team, which requires a high degree of trust and cooperation. It's crucial to choose a reputable provider and establish clear communication channels to ensure that your network is protected to the best of their ability. MDR provides continuous protection and expert guidance, but remember, it does mean placing trust in a third-party provider. Finally, let's discuss XDR. Extended Detection and Response, or XDR, is the new kit on the block in the cybersecurity world. This emerging technology is turning heads with its promise of comprehensive security coverage and increased efficiency. So what makes XDR special? Well, it integrates multiple security products into a cohesive system. Imagine having a team of security guards, each specializing in a different area, but all working together to protect your assets. That's XDR in a nutshell. It takes the best parts of EDR and MDR and wraps them up into one package. Another compelling feature of XDR is its automated threat response. In the cyber world, speed is of the essence. The faster you can identify and neutralize a threat, the better. XDR leverages automation to respond to threats in real time, drastically reducing the window of opportunity for cyber criminals. And let's not forget about improved detection accuracy. XDR uses advanced analytics and machine learning to identify threats more accurately. This reduces the number of false positives which can save time and resources. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Every coin has two sides and XDR is no exception. One potential drawback of XDR is compatibility issues with existing systems. If your current security infrastructure is not compatible with XDR, you might need to overhaul your entire system, which can be costly and time-consuming. But despite these potential challenges, the benefits of XDR are hard to ignore. Its comprehensive security coverage and increased efficiency make it a formidable tool in the fight against cyber threats. In conclusion, XDR offers comprehensive security and efficiency, but keep in mind the potential compatibility issues with existing systems. As with any technology, it's essential to consider your unique needs and circumstances before jumping on the XDR bandwagon. But one thing is certain, XDR is here to stay, and it's reshaping the cybersecurity landscape. Now that we've explored EDR, MDR, and XDR individually, it's time to compare them side by side. Starting with EDR, or Endpoint Detection and Response, this solution focuses on monitoring and protecting individual devices within a network. It's like your personal bodyguard, keeping a watchful eye on each endpoint. Its strength lies in its ability to detect and respond to threats in real time. However, it requires a high level of expertise to manage, and it's not ideal for businesses that lack an in-house IT department. Next up, we have MDR, Managed Detection and Response. This is like having a team of cybersecurity experts on your side, round the clock. The MDR provider takes care of threat detection, response, and remediation, alleviating the burden from your internal team. The downside? It can be more costly than EDR, and there might be less control over your own security measures. Finally, we have XDR, Extended Detection and Response. This solution is the most comprehensive of the three. Imagine having a bird's eye view of your entire digital landscape, from endpoints to servers to cloud workloads. That's what XDR provides. It integrates multiple security components into a unified platform, enhancing visibility and response capabilities. However, it can be complex to implement and may require significant investment. So how do they stack up against each other? EDR is great for device-level protection, MDR offers expert-managed security, and XDR provides a holistic view of your digital environment. But remember, these solutions aren't mutually exclusive. In fact, they can complement each other beautifully in a comprehensive cybersecurity strategy. You could use EDR to protect your endpoints, MDR to manage security operations, and XDR to gain an overall view of your entire security posture. We hope this comparison of EDR, MDR, and XDR has made these cybersecurity solutions clearer for you. Remember, the best solution depends on your specific needs and resources.